Hi there, it's Jeff, and this is Lecture 4 of Aligning Assessment with Course Objectives in the University Teaching Program. This lecture is going to start looking at how to connect all these ideas together to come up with a course plan. In Lecture 2, we saw how the levels in Bloom's taxonomy are often associated with keyword verbs, and that you can use these keyword verbs to help you decide what level in the taxonomy an educational objective lies on. If you look around online, you'll see that some people have made enormously long lists of these keyword verbs. In the long run, I'm not actually sure how useful these lists of keywords are, but as you're getting to know your way around blooms, looking through them can be useful to start to get a better sense, say, of the differences between the levels understand, apply, and analyze. However, what I'm going to show you is a case where keyword verbs can be useful, a case where they end up being misleading, and then another case. So here is an objective that I gave as an example way back in lecture one about students critiquing how a theory of state formation describes the history of some country. This one is pretty easy to classify. Critique is very similar to criticize, and this is indeed at the evaluate level. They would be evaluating the extent to which a theory applies to a particular case. However, it's not that straightforward all the time. For example, if you take a close look at some of these lists of keyword verbs, you'll see that often the same word will appear on the lists for several levels in the taxonomy. This is just because, of course, our use of language is often somewhat vague. We can use the same word to mean multiple things. Also, there's an additional problem that certain disciplines use certain words in very specific ways, often to mean quite different things from the everyday use. So here's another example. Again, this is an, an objective that I gave as an example in lecture one, where students are to use proof by induction to prove statements in number theory. Now the verb seems to be use, and that appears in the keyword list for apply. But apply is an awfully low level on Bloom's taxonomy for this task. If you're a mathematician, you probably see that. Also, if you look at some of these lists, you'll often see prove appear at the analyze level. Well, that's not really what's going on here. Often, mathematicians will say construct a proof rather than just prove, and that gives a better clue of what's going on here. Construct sounds an awful lot like something at the create level. And so I would argue this objective is at the create level of Bloom's taxonomy. Overall, the point here is that the keyword lists can be useful, but they can also be misleading. Sometimes you need to think of how to rephrase the objective to make what level of Bloom's it lies on clearer. And finally, it's your disciplinary knowledge that will often be a better guide than any list of keywords. Let's look at one more example. Here's the remaining example objective that I gave in lecture one, and this is about group work and making a plan for a project. Now, if you just use a keyword list, you might be tricked easily. Define often is on the remember level, but that certainly doesn't seem right. Define a plan could be thought of as make a plan, and so maybe that puts that at create, but that doesn't feel right either, does it? And the key here is that actually we shouldn't be looking at define a plan. This objective is not talking about defining a plan, it's talking about facilitating a process to get some people to define a plan. Well, I've given you a big hint after leading you astray, and I want you to think about why it is difficult to identify the Bloom's level of this objective. Remember that the point of this is to come up with an assessment plan, so let's now make the connection between Bloom's levels and assessment tools, and hopefully this is fairly intuitive. Things like multiple choice or perhaps matching questions are great at the low levels of Bloom's taxonomy, but it's pretty hard to come up with good multiple choice questions that get much past the apply level. 
short answer and numerical questions and the like can be used at slightly higher levels, perhaps up to the analyze level, but not likely any higher than that. Discussions and seminars are great at the mid-levels. They're not so great usually for getting up at the create level, and I suppose you could use them at the low levels like remember, but why would you? There are easier ways to assess there. Essays and problem sets and the like are good across the whole range, but particularly excel at the highest levels of Bloom's taxonomy. And what we've got here is a list from things that are easy to automate up to things that are nearly impossible to automate. Here is the thing you'll need to wrestle with. To wrap up, I'm just going to mention a few things that I hope we will have time to discuss during the live session for this module. Objectives can be course-wide, but you can also have topic unit objectives, specific objectives for specific subtopics within the course. This of course doesn't apply to all courses. Some courses don't reasonably divide up neatly into topic units. However, if your course does divide up into topic units, then it is worthwhile thinking about how the course objectives lead to more specific topic unit objectives. Finally, if you identify an objective that is at a high level on Bloom's taxonomy, it's usually not reasonable to just throw the students into the deep end and expect them to achieve that objective on their own. You usually have to do some scaffolding, and that means leading them through lower levels of Bloom's taxonomy to build up their skills so that they're able to achieve the high-level objective.